but yeah, like the variety, and then obviously the different gear you get, there'll be variety in that too. Yeah. So it's just, it's just really, it's like having like a gamma radiation hammer was so cool. It's like the different damage it does and how you then pin targets more because you can do different damage. That's how I felt with that. I, I, I'm hoping to eventually get a shield again that does like pin damage. Or yeah, the right, pin right, yeah. effect. Because I, I had that for a while and I was just tossing at enemies and they all become tiny after just like two hits. That's cool. I love the Patriot throw as well. Like throw it, <laughs> hit someone, grab it, throw it, and then they just go flying yes. on the third one. So satisfying. Yeah, I love that. <laughs> The reason I asked you before Stay about whether you can Avengers. get your buff was Aim still has a lot I was of doing a very similar mission to this, it, but I think it was like to tame a titan or something, like one of the daily missions. Yeah. Um, I was playing this cap, and like that elite squad, like literally right there, it had a adaptoid in, like one of the fiery ones. I can't remember what they're called. I think assault or something. Um, Do you think these aim just, operatives the whole think squad, they're on the just, right side of history? I couldn't take the, Never like, underestimate the power down of a big them. paycheck, Doctor. Like, on four, like, I, I just do that. That seems to be the same movie over and over. It's like the whirlwind. Okay, yeah, yeah. And, like, it does a load of damage to take that and it always takes the shield down really quickly. Okay. Whereas when I was doing this one with Cap, I don't know, do you want to take this? Yeah, no, Um. When I was doing that with Cap, it just did no damage. Like okay. whatsoever. It's like, that's why I was asking you the question. I can see it as like the, when you're not using the specials, like it's, it can be yeah. like, you're not doing too much damage. But when I put on like brawler mode for me, like pretty much every person after a few hits, I can do a takedown take down on. Yeah. So that's, that's where it becomes like kind of almost overpowered. Cause like it only takes a few hits and then each takedown extends it so then it becomes like almost uh like right now i already have the same brawler mode already uh almost full to use it again when it's the current one is over gotcha. yeah so i saw a youtuber say about that how like you literally there's, there's like a specific build you can have where you can just keep charging yeah. that up yeah that yeah that, that was the problem i didn't have any of my heroics available so mm -hmm. yeah i can see it like playing it playing him at first can be a little bit tough but then like at the top end it's i feel like uh good yeah it's it's pretty good yeah gotcha yeah i'll just i'll just carry it on he, he was always like when i unlocked him in the campaign and i was like yes he's <laughs> fucking so cool man because all the campaign like that you don't ever really get any of this where the enemies are more powerful than you yeah where as soon as you get that like it put me up but like what? he's definitely especially with his cosmetics like i love some of his suits uh i think they're stuck down there or wait no they'll they'll just spawn but oh no it's over the uh, objective it's it what happens is when we defeat this adapt toy that opens up down there oh uh, okay we'll be able to, be able to do it A bit misleading to be fair. But I also agree they need to buff his jump. His buff his jump is well annoying. Like it's cool enough having a double jump, but like yeah. when you're trying to keep up with say Watch me out and for new hype tricks. and we're like flying <laughs> it's hard. Yeah, especially while you that. defeat AIM's forces, I will hack into their systems and destroy their data. is below your current position yeah, like that <laughs> that's yeah. the one thing that i really like and then i still have like a good 15 seconds of the yeah. brawler mode we are not alone do you get the uh the glitch where you can't see somebody's like name anymore and then it goes into the bottom right no i'm not at that actually okay I have it right now, like, so I can see you, obviously, but your name yeah. isn't above your head, 
and then uh, it's your name is in the bottom right and it says you're like negative 214 uh, oh yeah, billion I've, I've had that yeah yeah, yeah. That a lot. it's weird yeah usually it's usually ai people yeah i get that it seems like it for me it's mostly whenever i'm playing with somebody that's thor yeah like thor i don't really get like it i'm making preparations else. to okay. pull my people back yeah. feels like we've done what we set out to do clearly now it's gone thank you like five minutes or so commander <laughs> you're welcome and likewise, Doctor. Nice work, people. We made a difference here today. Indeed. Have you done all the iconic missions and stuff? I uh, no, that's actually so. Uh, for reigning supreme, Wait, I have to do my monitoring one more. Team detected a huge uh, or no, data I have burst. to do the so, iconic missions for the research anywhere. Uh, Iron Man sure that. and Black Widow. The data Widow. was transmitted uh, to a local so server that came online mission. once yeah. we attacked the Ark reactor. I was thinking he didn't because it appears to be a weaponized mission myth. chain, and he just Monica's it's just plan his training. B. I was like, what? I was like, surely down. not. Three. Yeah. Yeah. Right now, that's it's part of the um, it's like step. I'm on step seven of reigning supreme, and I already did the, the main mission that I asked for. But gotcha. that's good that I thought about that because I was like, that sucks if like Thor's got this chain in there. I am on like the show. For I'm wondering if if there is an actual mission though, actually, because I know when I did. Kamala, hers was just she didn't have an actual mission. Cause I'm I i am i am only on like step 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 two of Iron Man. Right, okay. Kind of stunned. Oh, okay, maybe not then. I was yeah. Maybe I'm on later on. Oh, so you've just not done the Black Widow one altogether? Yes, I haven't done okay. done either of them, so I don't know if they're if they actually do have any. Yeah, Black Widow has two, like just like Thor has two. Black Widow has two. You okay. Got uh, yeah, they all, they all have two apart from four and uh, for Iron Man and Kamala. Okay. Yeah, that might just be it then. But I, I'm curious if, like, I wonder if anything else will pop up um, maybe after. Yeah. I mean, that, that, I assume this is the end, like, that, uh, I assume that is the end game. Yeah. Yeah. Like, the, um, what you call it? The Raiden Supreme mission, mm -hmm. like. I can't see there being much after that. I could be completely wrong, but I mean, you know, there's I still definitely there. There might be like one or two more parts to it after it. But like yeah. right now, I'm on step seven, and I completed the main mission. Uh, but then it says complete the iconic missions. So uh, I'm wondering if there there might be like another big like mission that opens up. Do you know what uh, what step you're on for for that one? Yeah. Okay. Um, because there are like, basically like everything opens up and it keeps going elite. Every mission that you just did, then you get uh, another version of it, and then it's an elite version of that, gotcha. and then it keeps going pretty much. It makes sense. Uh, that's how I imagine them to keep the end game going. For yeah. A while. Until the do give us these larger content drops. The, fighting the warships as captain is one of the hardest things, though. I, I like, can't the, get up there. The, the, like, the grounded one. Yeah. Horrible. Bring it down.
Which one's uh, your favorite ability for Thor? Gotta be You're making progress. Too. Okay, yeah. Is that what you meant? Like that stuff? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I just love the second the second hit just does the most damage. Yeah. Just kill anything. I mean pinning pinning anyone to a wall is like as satisfying the first time it is. Like the second time, the third time, the third yeah. time. Definitely. Not really. Nice. <laughs> the audio cut out for me. <laughs> same. I was put, I thought I put subtitles on until they fixed we'll it. Will do. Yeah. I never doubted that together we could defeat AIM here. <laughs> it's always it's just a, it's like the one people trying to talk through to you, isn't it? It goes out. It's never really people. Oh, it just killed me. Sick. <laughs> Uh, I'll tell you what step I'm on now. Got that, that step done. Hmm. Aims down a lot of research and one giant scary robot thanks to you. Today was an important victory. Seems like you get the most uh, upgrade modules from doing vaults too. Yeah, I know it's quite a few from one before. Yeah. Right, what have we got? Oh, we got a 130 piece. Yeah. Ooh, there you go. Signature nice. attacks deal particle damage dispersing pin particles and impact. Yeah. <laughs> nice. It looks so funny though when you fucking hit Taskmaster or Abomination with one. It's like, what the fuck? Yeah, right. <laughs> Is legendary the best gear you can get then for you in terms of your gear loadout and then the artifacts is the only exotic? Is that in my understanding right for that? Uh yeah, I think so. I'm not seeing any exotic. Yeah, I haven't seen an exotic either yet. So I I think that um I don't I'm not exactly sure how you get them just yet either. I've seen people had them, but that's it. Uh, hold on one second, I need to go open my door real quick. Found.
Um, Hello. I can't really Bye. tell the difference between some of the the legendary and the epic at times too. In terms of like the effects and. Yeah, because I mean, like, right now I have a legendary on, but the the epic seems like it might be a little bit better. Right. Okay. But. It's a, is your legendary the same star rating as well? Because it, it, this star rating impacts it. Yeah. So, is the star rating the? It's just like the highest that, per, those perks can get, I guess. Uh, it's like the the quality of the perk. Okay. I think you, if you're a five, like I don't think you'll get a pin particle that's less than four or five stars. If that makes sense. Okay. So I think that's the quality. And then I don't know what the difference is then between legendary and epic, because I know what you mean, because I've had epics where I'm pretty sure I've had epics anyway, where I've got pin particles. Yeah. So. Yeah. Like right now I have a, they're, they're both four stars, but the one gives me like uh willpower bur burst. And the other one gives me like a, a defense buff, but the other uh, one upgrades my melee and range and heroic more. Um, but it's considered less because it's an epic, although the, uh, legendary is gotcha. the other one. Do you want to do this, um, hive? It's got a guaranteed reward of upgrade modules, which will help you as well. Yeah. Yeah. I'm fine with doing whatever, honestly. It's just a nice, like, Destiny can give it, get a bit stressful sometimes. It's a quite mm -hmm. a nice chill game. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Until we obviously start doing the much more challenging content. Yeah. Anyway. Hey, Doc. We heard you managed to locate one of AIM's main research facilities. We have, Captain Rogers. We'd really appreciate it if the Avengers could help us take it down. With pleasure, Doctor. Jarvis, were you able to do the thing I asked? If by thing you mean subtly block all local network activity to ensure any project data destroyed on site is deleted permanently, then yes. Intel indicates. Yeah, what's going on, little legend? How you doing, man? Facility. Rescue them if you can, Captain Rogers. Security will be tight. AIM might even have elite assassination teams on site. I've sent my best people to back you up, but be ready for anything. <laughs> what's your favorite environment uh i i honestly really like the uh like that urban area one um yeah the eastern whatever it is yeah eastern sea where i think it is yeah, i like that one that. a lot i agree Good. What do you think of the Xbox Series S? Uh, I really like it. I think it looks really cool. It's actually surprising with how low the price is, but I think that honestly is like for for casual people or even anybody just like on a very strict budget, it's perfect for them. Because for a six a three hundred dollar console, that's gonna be like next gen along with the $15 a month uh, for Game Pass Ultimate, it literally, I right now, there, it doesn't get any better than that. That's access to like 100 like games and next gen games that will come out. And, uh, uh, and next gen itself. So I'm, I'm really, really excited for that for people. I probably won't get one, but I think that's still really cool. these adaptoids I can't reach. <laughs> it's your lucky day. How is he down? Oh, snap. Oh, wait, there's more of them.
Yeah, that's what um, I think a lot of people are going to do also, Legend. I think a lot of people that do want both want both of them, they would rather, like, I feel like that's a very good point right there where maybe they won't get the Series X, but they'll get the next-gen lower-end uh, Series S, you know? That way they can still play whatever games that they want, but uh, they're not forking up, like, another $500 for an additional console, you know? So that's that's actually like a really good price point. Even if it's somebody that's not planning on playing on it full time, like as their main console, it's a good like secondary option. Yeah. And I think a lot of people are gonna, I've seen a few people say like, okay, now I might rethink about getting one because of how low it is, you know? If you want to get both consoles, you're probably going to spend like a thousand dollars. Meanwhile, if you're just like, you want to get a PS5 for the games and you want an Xbox to be able to play Game Pass games or, or whatever, whatever else, then it's perfect for, for anybody like that. Or you're just literally just looking to save money, but you still want to play next gen games. It works out, you know? I'm kind of I think that's pretty cool. Mostly gonna use it to play with friends and PS5 for exclusives. Exactly. It's perfect for that. And lightning. <laughs> I think it's a ability that I've got. Like, I didn't mean, it's like a passive thing. Huh. I'm not like quite triggering it. Nap time! Got you a present! That was just a warm up! Second legend, I see here. Pretty much both the same console series as probably just isn't as powerful. Yeah, it's probably just a little bit. Uh, okay, I, think that was all I can't see it being me. too much of a difference, but um, yeah, I mean, it looks like the series S also is uh, discless. There's not really any type of. Um, it doesn't look like there's a, a disc input on it, so that probably saves them some money, and then we'll see. But at the same time, the PlayStation 5 is going to be both. Why for it? It's a hundred dollars cheaper for the discless version, so I'm wondering if they did just cut the price to kind of keep up with that, or if there's there's more to it. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't look like a giant brick either. Yeah, it is so much nicer with being able to just clear this out. Somebody. I wish this fucking thunder would stop. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Nat. Thanks. <laughs> it's like flashing on my face. I'm not giving up. I'm not made that way. Is it Neither just stuck you. on the door? It might be. No, it's, it's coming off me. I'll is it following you? Follow me, yeah. Okay, yeah. They never learn. It's a passive ability. Doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah, I see. Nice. Boom. 
There's that. <laughs> Apparently, that was the last. Yeah, we Yeah, you're not even showing up on my life to put anywhere. Oh, really? Not anymore. Hold still. Disappointed it's over. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> right. Can't make this easy for you. Take down. I, mean, I can't get over. <laughs> so pleasing. Yeah, they are on this. Very satisfying. I mean, like a mi I mean, I'm in a minus five deficit here. I still feel like overpowered. <laughs> yeah. Right. I love that cat bomb where you do, like the cat like, Yeah. So <laughs> That's pretty cool. That's why I'm excited for like, going to roost marshmallows and make some s'mores. Nice, dude. I was actually, well, I could have did that last night, but I didn't feel like making any s'mores. But I had a, uh, we had a little barbecue last night, which was nice. Nice. So is the heart is. Is the hard cap 130 then, and then you level it up to 140, and that's mm. as far as it goes? Yep, yep. Yeah. Um, so you want to make sure you're leveling stuff that can go up 10 times. Yeah. And then that's that's pretty much it. That's good. I don't I don't really want anything higher than that. Yeah. But like I don't I don't want a destiny thing where you can only only certain missions or drop your more powerful gear kind of thing where. I quite like it where you just get stuff to 130 and then you level up what you want to level up. Yeah, exactly. I like that too. It just works better. And literally like everything. I kind of wish I knew that like earlier, but it wasn't until like, um, yeah, they said something. So I was like, ah, oh, yeah, that makes sense now. And it, it's, I mean, it's pretty rare oh when my. I get something to drop Let's less do than 132. So, yeah. the really only thing is you need them, the modules to actually upgrade it. Yeah. But. So, which is good because it just means then you just look at your legendary stuff and stuff like green that you can start to ignore. Mm -hmm. You can buy a modules nice too. Work. So, like, if you, clear for now. Um, if you run out of them and you have like a ton of like other things that you keep salvaging or or dismantling you can go to the faction vendor uh, uh on the okay. helicarrier and buy you can only buy one at a time but it's not too bad yeah i would have been surprised if you couldn't buy any yeah got it down Avengers, charge! 
Take him down. Oh god. Scratch another bad guy. excited to see where the game's gonna be in ten uh ten years fucking in a year's time yeah same i i really hope that they do like a a one character a month type thing and like whatever extra content like every two or three months you know yeah more missions i can't wait to see where it's gonna be I gotta year. get something off my chest! I'm interested to see what kind of... You're in for it now! I think the reason we're getting Kate Bishop and Hawkeye so close is because they are very similar characters, so it's... Mm -hmm. ...will have probably quite niche differences. So I'm interested to see how it, apart from them two, how spread out new characters will be. Yeah. Because I think even those who are sticking around for the for the loot grind will come back for all the, the new characters every now and then and the new story. Yeah, when it's somebody that they actually want to check out or, yeah. or even the story. Like that's the cool thing about Kate Bishop is it's going to lead up to uh, yeah. Hawkeye's story and then exactly. go from well, there. I think I Hawkeye is gonna be like he's obviously gone been corrupted by aim or whatever. Yeah, but, I think they they blackmailed him or, or something like that. Where he had to do stuff for him, so it'll be interesting. Yeah. Do you think I should get a cape? No, that's my thing. Huh? I thought hammers were your thing. <laughs> There is a chest with gear <laughs> close by. Right. Did it take them on them, Tiny? It's open. Can't make this easy for you. Uh, the other one's a hacker one, so. Oh no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Look for a chest with gear nearby. Oh, solid. Come Surprise! The other thing that would be nice is when those characters do drop because everybody's okay. gonna wanna play Take as new breathe. characters. If matchmaking yeah. like isn't perfect then, at least like if you continue to work on your other characters, they'll be leveled up so you can play with they them. them. Yeah, exactly. So that that'll be really nice too. I'd be kinda shocked if it didn't do like a multiverse or set 
I think maybe not at the start, but like eventually. Like, especially when Spider-Man comes to PlayStation, like everyone will want to play Spider-Man. Yeah. Good way about it. Like for me, like Kate Bishop and Hawkeye is really cool. I really like them characters, but I'm not like gonna lose my shit if I can't play as them. Yeah. Whereas, like, <laughs> Spider-Man, everyone will want to play Spider-Man. Yeah. This is good. Okay. So it'll be interesting to see how they do match me. Because the fact that you can already have multiples in the same game makes me think, you know, like when it glitches out and you've got a yeah. couple of each. That makes me think that there's definitely the possibility of something. That they're trying out, maybe. I can definitely see it at some point for sure. I really hope that they they bring like my biggest thing is this is like the perfect game to have crossplay. Oh yeah. So I I just really hope one way or another, even if we're locked out of Spider-Man being on PC, like I at that point I'd rather have crossplay being able to play with people, even if I can't play it as in myself. Just having the option is really, really nice. I agree. Honestly, I'd prefer cross save over cross play. Okay, yeah. Just because I know I'm getting a PS5. So. So you didn't tell anyone. The reason did I didn't get it on PlayStation is because I knew the majority of the Discord would get it on Rogers, PC the anyway, up, but the tears. it just, mm -hmm. I, I didn't like how it ran on PlayStation. You didn't see that. Especially the Those way it's crashed on PC. Well God insulted. knows what it'd be like on PlayStation. You know what to do eventually. Mm -hmm. So. But if we got cross play, uh, cross save, I wouldn't be mad. Like, I think it also makes sense from a financial point of view for Sony as well. And for, yeah, that's true. So I think that would could be what we see first. I could be completely wrong, but at the end of the day, if it, if it was only cross save, uh, cross play, I wouldn't be too plus either. Like, I'm happy to just miss out on Spider Man. We get him out of that game. Spider Man PS4 is already a close to perfect Spider Man game. Like, Apparently, that was yeah, true. <laughs> so I'm not, I'm not like gasping for Spider Man content. It'd just be really cool to have him in an Avengers game. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, he's like probably the most known Marvel character exactly. like, ever. So. That's the really cool part about this. Like everything we're like speculating about right now, like just being at a week after early access launch. Yeah. Uh, everything's gonna change by the time it's like next year. Exactly. Like there's gonna be so much more that we didn't even think of that'll probably be in it. Or... Excellent. That's one server exactly. out of mission. Keep they've going. definitely got plans for it because they've yeah. even, they've creative directors even like addressing it. So what we want so we're not going to have it for launch but we have got plans mm -hmm. it's just what, what plans they have etc yeah i'd really love cross save at least to begin with because just so i could play spider-man that's your last mistake if it's not, then, you know, the second cross, server what, just went offline <laughs> and especially for raids yeah. So much easier to get a full squad for raids if everyone if there was cross -play. I think at some point, um, I think that there probably will be like six people missions. Oh, definitely. At some point, especially because like right now when you glitch out, you yeah. know, you get that six people and yeah. all the nameplates show up. So otherwise, like why would six names show up if uh, yeah, exactly. it I wasn't put in there? Shit. Yeah, if you, I don't think much it, uh, just say it's but the fact that you, 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 yeah, I didn't think about like and Tim, you were right. Yeah. My team just I, discovered a resistance holding area. Yeah. They've got your people here. Interesting. Worry, Hank. We'll get them out. I'd love to see a map. Updating your HUD with their location. <laughs> yeah. Oh, thank you. It seems your intel was on the money, Doc. Just the resistance has friends and some unlikely places. The least favorite part of the game. to spam my special abilities for these ones.
Oh, whoops, my bad. Whoops, you know that. Oh god. <laughs> that was close. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, it's just re return to checkpoint. No, it's return to checkpoint. <laughs> <laughs> I was uh, just changing the volume for the settings. Nice. Uh, oh, <laughs> fucking hate these ones that change the heroics away. Yeah, I hate that. I always try to use them like if I have it available. I try using it like right away, so that way. Yeah. It doesn't happen. Do. Like you can easily run past these, but like so much more fun just taking every single one of them out. Yeah. Where's this final shield? Though? Don't do something you'll regret. Hey, where did this thing come from? Yeah, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> now nah, I just gotta take out the squad. Wow, we're on six. I didn't realize. <laughs> I'm gonna go off and quickly get some dinner after this, but I'll jump back on after that. Okay, okay. sounds good. Say a breather, kids. Triple takedown. <laughs> uh, why? <laughs> Fraser taking a hit, then I was like, I better get out of there. <laughs> single one drops a, that heroic orb too. Yeah. Oh, it's so nice. Easy work. Yeah. I might see if I can knock out those iconic missions. Yeah, you should. Yeah, it's, they, they make you grind a little bit for him. Aims down yeah. a lot of research and one giant scary robot down. thanks to you. Oh, Griff is the old father. Just got a achievement for that. All the more reason to save nice. our successes, Captain. And I'm full of loot from that too. Jeez. <laughs> I have a ton of options. Oh, I don't know which one to do. Ten, twenty percent. Yeah, fuck it. That one sounds well cool. <laughs> Pick the coolest sounding gear. <laughs> Is my my game. Go. Sweet. Is the gear set? 
Uh, is there gear sets? Wait. So like legendaries are like uh, so if you like fours, this one's called Grip of the All Father. Like, is there a arm guards of the All Father kind of? Thing? Oh, uh, I'm not sure. That's one thing I haven't. Be interested to know. Yeah, I wonder. Yeah, so like this is where I'm kind of confused because like I'm looking at like I have an epic which is the purple which has four stars of uh, basically the same same amount of thing uh, stats that my legendary has but my legendary has three stars so huh. technically comparing the two they have the same exact perks almost there's one that's different but the epic one has a higher percentage because it has the four stars meanwhile the legendary has a lower percentage because it's the three stars that's weird yeah well i get why they've done like <laughs> i get it but i don't like, yeah i'm i'm also <laughs> like uh confused but okay i do see one thing it bumps up the the legendary bumps up my uh, heroic rating by a lot. Uh, okay. Meanwhile, the other one only bumps up everything by like three percentage. So I think it's the technically the legendaries might give you like more of like valor, resolve, gotcha. and intensity, like that kind of that stuff. Makes, but yeah, that makes sense. The stats might be better on. Uh, yeah. Or the perks might be better for lower end gear. That makes sense. That makes perfect sense. Right, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna dive off and get some food, and then I'll be back on. Okay, sounds good. Right, that's fine. All right, see you. Catch in a bit. I'm gonna hop off the the Discord call for now, and then when somebody messages me. Uh, I'll hop back in there. I think I might swap some gear after endless days and nights. I am back. Yo, what's going on, Dev? How you doing, man? Hello, hello, my friend. Uh, 36 per chance. Like, combo finishers, grant that. Signature attacks deal particle damage. Dispersing pin particles on each impact and increase damage from sprint and evade attack. Uh, Stein... Those perks are much better. I think I'm going to get rid of this. And get rid of that. And then this can go because these can only go up five times. Oh, no, I'm... Ah, no. I'm an idiot. I just upgraded it two times. God damn it. Oh, well. I upgraded it twice. God, I'm so dumb. I'm tired, how are you? I'm doing all right. I just upgraded a gear that I shouldn't have upgraded twice. Uh, that just wasted like so many points, <laughs> but it is what it is. Cryo, critical attacks will deal additional particle damage, ranged attacks deal, you know, okay, that's fine. Precision. Oh. Now I'm going to keep what I currently have. That's three stars. Four stars. Is it up everything by? Uh, I don't know. How's Avengers been? Ah, oh, dude, I'm, I'm loving it still. It's definitely like one of my favorite games. Ooh, whoa, okay. Haha. <laughs> Absolutely, dude. I am taking that. Holy crap. Upgrade this thing. Yo. Get, get that out of here now. I went down one power level, but 10% increased damage from Brooklyn Brawler and increases the charge rate of ultimate heroic ultimate by 18 percent yo 
Those stats, though. Don't mind if I do. Uh, we can get rid of that. Gravitational. Uh, I don't know if I want to take that 18% hit. It 120, nah, nah, nah. I'll hold on to this for now. Dude, I can't believe that. That's sick. Going back to my old ways and start playing Apex religiously. Nice. <laughs> How's that going for you? I got to use this instead. I'm hesitant on destroying it, though. Yeah. I'll find something better. All right. We got those challenge card things done. What's the daily defeat enemies by hitting their weak point where it's ranged attacks. And those are still in progress. Okay. Not well. I uh, shouldn't be jump master. Killed the entire squad yesterday. Teammate pinged a spot so it launched us and apparently the big laser on the map isn't for decoration should have been recording <laughs> oh man <laughs> that's funny that sucks <laughs> sounds like a, a little messy there not bad though um all right here's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna switch to black widow and see if i can uh Finish our objectives as her. And let me see. I need to get feed enemies using Veil of Shadows and cause 50 points of damage using the grapple counter to aerial enemies. Cool. Check her gear real quick. I'm not going to upgrade these just yet. This is active. There it is. Brian, uh, bought me Don't Starve together. So that's cool. New games. Yeah, that's always fun stuff. That's good stuff. Two. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna launch a selected hero. See if we can get into somebody else's game that's doing missions or whatever. I think I have that game, but I haven't played it yet. Oh, there's just two hooks. What the hell? Oh god, it's not gonna. I might have to go back to the main menu, but I'll see if this works here. Yeah, it 
that's gonna I enjoy it solo they give you a lot of food but multiplayer you'll starve <laughs> uh, it's don't starve together I see that's why it says don't starve together <laughs> that makes sense <laughs> 